Welcome to Quick Tips, I'm Bill Mecca. Today we're outside on a nice sunny day because I wanted to talk to you not about visuals, but about sound. Sound can be at least 50%, if not more, of your final production. And you wanna get the best sound that you can. Most consumer camcorders have a built-in microphone. Nine times out of 10, you don't wanna use that, especially if you're doing an interview. If you're doing an interview or a stand-up like I'm doing now, you'll need a small clip-on microphone like this one. There'll be a link on my site where you can find one that's very inexpensive and sounds pretty good. Plugs into the external mic input on your camcorder. Most consumer camcorders, however, these days don't have that input, so you may have to go for a little bit better camcorder. Now, say you're not doing an interview or a stand-up like this and you wanna capture better sound and not get as much wind noise. Well, then I would suggest a shotgun microphone. This is a Sennheiser ME66 with a K6 power module, which allows you to use phantom power, or if you unscrew it, you can put a AA, a AA battery in there. Now, this does have an XLR input, so you're gonna need either one of the boxes, an XLR adapter that you can add onto your camcorder, or just an XLR to mini plug cable. Make sure it has the right connection for your camcorder. Now I'm gonna switch this so you can hear how this one sounds. And it's got a windscreen on it as well that will hopefully block a little bit more of the uh, wind noise you're hearing now because I lost the windscreen for the little lavalier mic. So we'll be back in a second and we'll hear from the Sennheiser ME66. And we're back now with the Sennheiser ME66 mounted onto the camera running off a AA battery. And it has a uh, pop filter on it similar to this one. Now that microphone has a nice wide frequency range response, good low end, good high end, and it costs you about $459. That may be out of the ballpark for some of you. What I found is this Chinese microphone, it's an HTDZ HT81, that costs about $30. Now it's got a little bit different frequency response than the Sennheiser, and we're gonna listen to that one now. The wind seems to be picking up a little bit, so you're probably hearing that buffeting against the microphone. But the mic you're hearing now is the HTDZ HT81. This is a Chinese brand. I got it for about $30, including shipping, online. Now, it has a smaller frequency response range than the Sennheiser, but it costs about one-tenth the price. You have to do the math there versus the quality and decide which one's better for you. That was the HT81 on its normal setting. The microphone has two settings, normal and tele. I've now switched it to the tele setting. This pickup pattern more closely resembles that of the Sennheiser shotgun microphone. It's more focused, it rejects more of the sound that comes from behind the microphone. So now you can compare the two microphones. The Sennheiser ME66 at $459. And we're back now with the Sennheiser ME66 mounted onto the camera running off a AA battery. And it has a uh, pop filter on it similar to this one. The Chinese HT81 at about $30. And if you really want to get good sound, use a clip-on microphone like I did at the beginning of this quick tip. When you're shooting video, you need to think about how it sounds. And the best way to pick up good audio is to get the microphone as close to the sound source as possible. And your built-in microphone just isn't gonna cut it. You're gonna need some additional sound reinforcement devices. So, when you're thinking good video, think good audio, how best to get it. That's it for this time. I'm Bill Mecca, happy shooting. Quick Tips is brought to you by Mecca Video Productions, producers of the award-winning documentary Lost Towns of the Pine Barrens, Volume 1. For more information, check out losttownsvideo.com.